Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and this is a new Everglades 2. It's a low cost, rugged, celeron based nook from Simply Nook. We're gonna take a look at some of the features of it today, and we're gonna do our standard unboxing. First thing we find in the box is the new Everglades 2 with its two captured Wi-Fi antennas. If you remove the foam insert, you'll find the quick start guide, and there's also a Visa mount plate that's underneath. So you can mount this on the back of the monitor or on a wall. In the box, we have a wall wart type style power supply. And that's all it takes to power this good boy. And we have our two and a half inch drive cable. The unit does take an optional two and a half inch drive when the cable is, is provided, or if you order it with the drive installed, it'll be pre-installed as you receive it. And the last thing is there's some screws inside the box. All right, let's take a look at the unit. Starting with the front, we have our power switch. Looking at the left side is air ventilation for input. The right side is where we start getting into the I.O. Looking at the right side, and starting from the left, we have a mini SD card slot. Then we have four Type A's, and these are USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. And we have a USB 3.1 Type C port. Next, we'll take a look at the back. Again, starting from the left side, we have one of our two dual band Wi-Fi antennas and that has Bluetooth 4.2 as well. Along the bottom, we have two USB 2.0 type A connectors. On the left, we have a gigabit ethernet port that supports a PoE uh, module. This is an optional module you can order from Simply the Nook and power the whole device off the left uh, ethernet port. We then have our display port 1.4 and this will drive up to three monitors from the one connector. We have our second gigabit ethernet port. When you're running the first as PoE, you still have access to the second ethernet port. Next, we have our power connector. This is a standard 5.5 by 2.5 center pin DC and is 12 volt to 19 volt. And below it, you'll see the Kensington lock, which allows you to secure the unit if it's in an area where you need to secure it. We then have two HDMI 2.1 TMDS ports. And then finally, we have our uh, 3.5 millimeter HD audio jack, which does support a, a four pin uh, for microphone and stereo headphones. And, and obviously we have the other antenna. Next, we'll take a look at the inside, but let's take a look, quick look at the bottom. There's four rubber feet and these are screws, and so these allow you to open up the inside. Before I open it up, I will go put on my anti-static smock and uh, wrist strap. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and click that notification. Now that I have put on my anti-static smock wrist strap and I have my anti-static work surface, we're ready to open the bottom of the new Everglades 2. Remember that static discharges at a voltage level less than you can detect with the human body is sufficient to damage the static sensitive electronics. So please let uh, Simply Nook configure your unit and through these videos, live vicariously at what the inside looks like through me. On the bottom plate, you can see the 2280 thermal gap pad to cool the SSD, and it goes into an aluminum heat spreader. Also on the bottom, you can see the four mounting holes for the 2.5 inch SATA drive for your secondary storage. All right, now taking a look at the inside, starting from the right, we have our two DDR4-2933 DIMM slots and this unit will support up to 32 gigs of memory. In the middle, you can see along the 
the bottom here, the M.2 socket, and at the top, the brass standoff for holding the 2280 M.2 uh, SSD. And then on the far left, you can just make out the four header pins along the uh, bottom, as well as the four header pins at the top, and the brass standoff that is used for affixing the PoE uh, module, uh, and that's where it plugs in. You can also see the dual band Wi-Fi radio. The new Everglades 2 from Simply Nook is a rugged quad-core high-performance Celeron product that allows you to uh, put this in kiosks, point-of-cell terminals, or other industrial control applications where having a rugged and fanless unit that doesn't need to be serviced would be the perfect solution. Simply Nook will configure the unit to your needs, so head over to simplynook.com at the links provided in the description. Custom configure your new Everglades 2 and Simply Nook will custom build it for you. Thank you.